How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into the Casey Cup with, I don't know, I took this deck from DK dude. I, I legit took this deck straight from Duel Links meta because I spent all day working on that intro. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Alright so that's gonna be my new intro. I have two versions. We'll be seeing more of those in the future. But whatever. We got our Bad and Bougie deck but this is the DK version. So this is supposed to be like the meta version of Bujins. Uh, I had my own version, but I was, I don't know, I, I felt like maybe it was too, eh, probably slow, probably bad. DK is really good at making like meta decks. So today, since we're doing meta, I'm out of my comfort zone. I, I like making fun decks. I'm not a good duelist. I'm not good at playing meta. So fair enough. We're gonna, we're gonna use this deck that he used. And we're gonna see how well we do. I get, I'm gonna get some practice with it because I have not gotten a chance to try out all the intricate plays. Uh, but we are running the Bujins. Bujins are pretty simple. You summon Bujin Yam Yamato, uh, you do all your plays, you send all your Bujin Bujingi monsters to the grave, and then they destroy things. So that's one cool thing about this deck, at least Centipede. Uh, this guy, we're running Bujin Pavo because Pavo uh, apparently lets you uh, special summon a Bujin, this guy, from the from the deck if, if one of these guys is destroyed. So that's pretty cool. It's a really good uh, way to make sure you always have a, a Bujin Yamato on the field. So, obviously we're running three Yamato. Yamato is essential for this deck. We're running triple Arasuda. Arasuda is also a Bujin monster, so he also, like, a lot of your benefits come from having one of these, one of these two on the field, or both, doesn't matter. Uh, but I think the real power lies in that back row. We got triple Super Rush Headlong for those situations where our opponent has, I don't know, they're gonna run us over, they, they, we're gonna attack into them, and then they chain Mirror Wall. We set the toggle to on, and then Super Rush saves the day. So that's one th cool thing about Super Rush, even if they Wall of D, you still get your plays off. So Super Rush is really good in this deck. I had not thought about that, but that's pretty cool. We also got Triple Econ, because Econ gets you a lot of a lot of plays. I don't know all the plays. Decade is really smart. I'm, I'm very dumb. Don't agree with me. I'll, I'll learn the plays as we go. We got them Econ plays. I know you can like Econ take. It's pretty good because you can only have one Yamato on the field. So I know you could probably... Uh, the first thing I think of is like you Econ take tributing a Yamato if you already have one in hand. And then you just normal summon the other Yamato and possibly swing for game. And then we are running one Curse of Anubis and one Windstorm of Itaqua, which both more or less do the same thing, except this one might be a little bit better. Uh, so Curse of Anubis puts all effect monsters into defense position and makes their defense zero. So this is what you can use to pretty much run over any big threat your opponent has if you haven't normal summoned yet. So you can activate this if they have like an I don't know ancient gear golem or something. You would activate this, switch to defense, then summon this guy, this guy, I don't even care, this guy, and, and pretty much run it over. So that's pretty good play. And then we got Winston of a Taco, pretty much protection. I'm pretty sure it also can be used offensively as well, uh, but I'll have to I'll have to wait and see. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the deck. We also got that meme extra deck. I have not changed that meme extra deck. Don't worry about that extra deck. I, I have it here just to confuse my opponents, but uh, whatever. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get things started. All right, who's first in the KC Cup? We got Juno over here. Level two? I'm barely level one, dude. You're already pitting me against stronger people. Which, I mean, he's got Joey Wheeler. Interesting. Um, we're both fighting for that rank up. Alright, so. I hope I start with a Yamato first turn. I did not have to restart, dude. That's already a bad sign. We better start with the Yamato, or else I lose. Did I pretty much draw the same hand? Dude, that's annoying. I mean, I have this guy and this guy, so I have a Yamato if he destroys me. Which is fine. It's okay, I guess, but I don't know, man. He's going for the defense. I know he can pop things, too, if he's got hand, so we, we're going to have to destroy his monster. I don't know, man. I, I, I really have to, like, do something here. All right, Econ. All right, so I think my smartest move is probably just summoning him in attack. Summoning him attack, there's nothing on the on the summon, so it's he's got no... I guess he doesn't have an Econ or anything. I'm gonna set that Econ, I'm gonna set a Super Rush. I want to use these Econs aggressively if possible, but I don't think I can really do it in this deck. Uh, we're just gonna attack. He does power me up, so that's pretty cool. Um, get wrecked, dude! Why would you set that in defense? Why would you set that in defense? You have 2,000 attack! Alright, fair enough. You have like a 30 card deck, that's probably why. Alright, fair enough. 
He can have a he can have a, a brutal deck. Oh, never mind. He just ends, dude. Oh no, what do you have in your hand? All right, in this situation, should I go for the beatdown? Should I go for a beatdown, or just hit for the 18 and conserve my Pavo? I don't know. I'm gonna save the Pavo in case in case I uh, get wrecked right now. I won't like completely move the game. I'll take it slow, dude. I'll take it slow. I mean, because it's not like I have a mirror wall or anything. I have a super rush. Uh, I could probably wreck his monster if he tries to attack me. But whatever. We'll see. Next turn, if he, does, if he doesn't summon anything, I am definitely summoning Pablo. So, let's see. Oh, he just quit, dude! Alright, that's game one right there! Man, I hate losing! Alright, so we got our first win because our opponent apparently drew a bad hand. Um, okay, that's why you run restart, dude. Alright, game two! All right, we're level two now. All right, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Uh, fair enough. Now, for real, this time, game two. All right, who's next? Let's see, we got... Oh, I can read this. I can read this. Something to. Nto? I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't read the first symbol, but I know the last one's to. Uh, but we got a Yami Bakura as our first opponent. We're both fighting for that rank up. I didn't check his level, but... Oh, you're kidding me, dude. You're kidding me. Why do I have to start every hand with a restart, dude? At least give me a Yamato. You're kidding me, dude. I can't start with a Yamato, dude. Oh, no. That's so annoying. All right. I'm probably just going to summon this guy or, or I can summon this guy and hope that he attacks it. I kind of like this play, actually. I'll set that too. I'll set both of them. You never know if he activates some weird card. Re weird random card. We're not high rank yet, so they could still be running weird stuff like spiritualism that bounces cards back to hand and stuff. Alright, so... Or if they lock it with a Gyoko or whatever, we, at least we have a second copy. Uh, but let's see. Oh, Snipe Hunter! This might be perfect. This might be perfect. He's got three cards in hand. So... He's gonna pitch whatever... What are you running? Alright, go ahead and try to destroy it, dude. Go ahead. Five, you got him. You got him, dude. You got him. Congratulations. Go ahead and hit the back row now, dude. Hit that back row. This is this is not bad, actually. Four? Wow, he's got better odds than I do when I play this deck. I might be using this deck sometime in the future. I might. Because uh, I want to I wanna be able to use it, so. We got that Pavo, dude. All right, so the thing is, Pavo only activates if my monsters destroy a battle. So if it's popped... I'm probably not gonna have good luck, and I think this guy. Wait, what is he running? What are you running? I, I was thinking, I was like, well, it's obviously a mirror wall, but the fact that he's running all these weird cards means that might as well be an econ or something, dude. He has some kind of activation. But I was already forgetting, dude! I was already forgetting. We got that Bujin Centipede. Let's go ahead and destroy that back row real quick. Uh, let's kind of force him to chain it or whatever, so. See if he activates that Econ. I think it might be an Econ. It's a Super Rush! Okay, fair enough. I won't attack you. Or I could use my Super Rush and still get over him because I know I'm going to attack him next turn. Or I know I'm going to... You know what? I think I can get over his monster. <laughs> I think I can get over his monster. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's actually, like, really mess with this guy's head. Let's mess with his head right now, dude. Let's attack right into it. He's thinking, what an idiot. He's going to lose his monster. But I've declared battle. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. I'm just going to use this now. I should. I, I Normally, you wait. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to call Dark right now. So I'm going to go Dark. Get wrecked, dude. <laughs> He's like, what? What happened? All right, so now you got one card in hand, I've, I, or we're back two and two. But if you destroy my monster by battle, I do benefit, so. All right, we're in an okay position. I can summon Centipede and try to be aggressive. Uh, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. All right, so. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Come on, dude, don't lag on me now. My internet is lagging so hard. Does he have a Lava Golem? Does he have a Lava Golem? Oh, it's not. All right, that's fine with me, dude. I am fine with that, dude. I'll take. I'll deal that stuff too. All right, so he can go ahead and summon that thing, potentially kill my Arasuda, 
Or maybe this guy, it doesn't matter if they're in the grave, they still do shenanigans. Uh, but let's see, he's gonna summon the Necrofear. That I, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the animation since it's been a while. Alright, so look at him. Yeah. Alright, so... It's still pretty unsettling. Alright, well that was pretty cool. Alright, so now he's got it in attack position. What is this? Compensation? Oh, okay. He just healed up a little bit. 18! Alright. This is where I benefit. Let's go ahead and activate this. Bujin Pavo. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and special summon our boy right here, Yamato, who has no type of boost right now. So he is in danger unless we draw some back row to protect him. So, draw. Arasuda, no. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and set you. That way if he attacks with um, Necrofear and, I don't know, Gilgarth to my 19, then he won't clear my field completely. I can't activate anything. He has no back row to destroy. If I ran Boar, I would be able to actually run it over. No, dude. All right, so I think in this situation, I'm just going to have to end. I'm going to activate Yamato, but not because I want to. All right, so what am I going to add? I, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Whatever I add is going to get sent straight to the grave, so I might as well send it as Centipede. Alright, so am I going to lose this duel? Am I going to lose? Dude, that Snipe Hunter, that luck, just gives gives him a huge advantage. I have terrible luck, and he's got the Lava Golem! No! No! You're kidding me, dude! You're gonna eat con take? Yep. Wow! Already getting shrek by these... I, I don't know what deck that is, to be honest. It's like Fiend. It's like Fiend Snipe Hunter. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I've never seen that deck before, but fair enough. Ran a lot of weird cards, but impossible. Fair enough. I don't think we ranked down this early, but dude, we're already having bad luck. I cannot start with a single Yamato, which is really killing me. So let's go ahead and jump right into the next duel. All right, third duel. Who's next? We got Sarmuseel. From Thailand, dude. All right, so we got a Seto Kaiba player. Um, I don't know, like, I think Paradox Brothers could be pretty much anything now. I, I remember back when they had a relevant skill, it would either be like they're playing Hazies or playing Ninjas or something like that, but we're gonna have to restart again, dude. No! I can't get lucky, dude. I can't just start with the Yamato in hand. And some back row to protect him. There we go, finally. I have one and I have these. I'm good. Let's go ahead and summon this guy. Finally, dude. Finally, I have some kind of some kind of protection, dude. Some kind of protection. We're going to send the centipede, so we could uh, destroy whatever he's got planned. I don't know if he doesn't send anything. We're destroying mountains, dude. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that mountains, especially because I don't have any other protection besides Curse of Anubis. So I feel like you never know, man. With these kind of players, they could run vanilla. So. Curse of Anubis might be pretty bad here. Alright, so let's see what he decides to do. Alright, so you got... What do you got? What do you got? Uh, okay! Dragon of Newt. Alright, cool. So, you basically... You're, you're trying to bait out my, my defensive card because you think this is an Econ or something. And then you get to summon something from the deck. That's cool and all, but... It's not gonna work out for you. No way, dude! What are you doing? He thinks it's a mirror wall, dude! He thinks it's a mirror wall. Yep, he thinks it's a mirror wall. That's fine, go ahead, dude. <laughs> oh man, you're wasting your cards, dude. Keep wasting them. Keep wasting cards. All right, so. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, or we, could, or we could not, but you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna let him take it. And then I'm gonna activate Pavo. I think this is better because we thin out the deck so we get to draw better cards. And we still have our Bujin, we still have our defense, in case he does something cheeky in the future, which I think he's going to summon Blue Eyes eventually. So this is going to be useless against the Blue Eyes. So, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and draw. And we got that Arasuda. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and activate... Wait, is it that way? And first, I need to check this guy. Uh, can he, You only have one copy of this guy in your field. You can only control one Bujin Arasuda. I'm going to normal summon this guy. 
I'm gonna normal summon because I know you could piggyback an effect if you like banish a, a monster, but what's the point of summoning if he comes out in defense position? So we're gonna destroy mountains. So get wrecked mountains, dude. Now we can run over your monster. So let's go ahead and attack right now, dude. All right, so 18 to your 17. Let's see if he's got a Karibo. Nope, I don't think he has a Karibo. I'm afraid of messing with the toggle because I always forget to turn it back on. Like I legit leave it off, and then I and then I regret that the, that decision. But whatever. We got the Yamato. Let's go ahead and send another centipede, just in case he decides to set any back row. So stop it, dude. Um, I better remember that it's off. I better remember that it's off, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna heavily regret this if I don't. I've lost games because I forget that this is off. So, uh, we can go ahead and activate Arasuda. Oh, yeah, he has his own pickup, uh, extra effect, uh, where he draws. Uh, yeah, perfect! Perfect, dude! Set two cards, dude! Set two cards! I dare you! That was a, I guess all my luck was concentrated into this one duel. Alright. Even though I had to restart, I think, so, fair enough. Uh, so, he's going for the defense position. That could be the Exploder Dragon or something, so, eh. Whatever. Alright. So let's go ahead and draw. Alright, we got that Pavo. Pretty cool. So we can replace our other stuff. So let's go ahead and attack real quick. I'm probably gonna attack with the 16. You know what? No. No. I'm gonna attack with the 18. No! He could have dragons. I'm gonna attack with this one. I'm playing around either a man eater bug or a uh, exploder dragon. But whatever. Man eater bug! I should have been the other way. All right, it should have been him attacking, so he would have to destroy whatever, and then I would still get an attack off. But now he has to destroy Yamato. It's, it's the best play. Ah, oh, that's annoying, dude. I thought he would have a dragon deck, so I thought he would have an exploded dragon. Ah, these misplay, or not even a misplay, but it's just a bad guess. All right, fair enough. If this guy dies, I do get to bring out a um, Yamato strip in the deck, so that's cool. Go ahead, dude, make my day. I can't even stop you. I can't even stop you, dude. I know you I have it, too, because you have the structure deck right now. So you have Exploder Dragon. I didn't necessarily make the bad call. Go ahead and take it out. All right, so. Uh-oh. Oh, I missed timing because I switched it on too late. No, dude. I told you I regret it every freaking time. I always regret it. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Can this work on my turn? Dude, I don't know. I, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> that button is the bane of my existence. All right, so, uh, destroy my battle sense of the graveyard. You can send this card when... All right, so I'm, I'm going to crash my monster into you, dude. I'm going to crash my monster straight into you, dude. Because if he summons another one, I'm pretty sure he's going to do some mean things to me. All right, so, we're going to straight up crash. We're going to activate our effect. Dude, I cannot believe I messed up that first time. I cannot believe I messed it up. I cannot believe I messed it up, dude. Alright, but this time, we're making up for it. We got that destruction. I cost It cost me like two extra cards. But fair enough. We're going to activate Yamato. I don't think there's anything I can really recycle anymore. What is it? Like, I don't think I have any more centipedes. Yeah, it's basically... Which one do I want to send to the grave? Uh, I probably shouldn't have activated. Um... Screw it. This this one. I'm gonna send this guy to the grave. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Now, I mean, all that means is all that's left is just pure back row. So super rush, econ, and defensive cards. So he should not be able to get over me, but we'll, we'll see. We will see. If he summons blue eyes, I can still super rush it. So, I don't know, I have plays here, I have plays. If he sets anything, I have some, I have my stuff, so bam, that's gonna get destroyed. That's gonna get destroyed. I hope it's an Econ, dude. It's just said one pass! Alright, dude, come on, give me a, I don't think I have any more monsters. Alright, so, let's go ahead and just destroy that back row real quick. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Alright, so, Centipede, destroy that thing. See if he changes it, see if it's an Econ. Hey, why would you run that, dude? <laughs> why would you run that? All right, so uh, that's cool. That's okay, and I'm gonna set this just to be safe. I'm gonna straight up hit you, and I wanna. I don't. I don't want to activate Bujin Yamato's effect because what would be the point? All I'd be doing is sending Pavo to the grave, and I'll just run out of monsters. So 
I won't activate him this turn. Dude, after the mishap with the toggle button, I still came out on top, probably. Unless he, like, completely destroys me here. Uh, he doesn't have an extra deck, he's not fusing or anything, so... All we can, all we can really fear is, like, a big dragon. But, whatever. Uh, so let's see what he's got. I still have one more destruction to reset anything. Uh, at least a back row. I'm gonna destroy it, so... Alright, so that's gonna protect you for one turn. So, draw! Alright. So, I mean, remember guys, this could be something, this could be something we can regret right here. Alright, so, attack it. Please don't be a man eater bug or exploder dragon. Please don't be one of those. Hey, Horus! Alright, that's interesting. He's got Horus in his deck, dude. Alright, so, we've legitimately recycled all our cards, so, or cycled through all our, all our monsters. So, we have no more Ar Arasudas. We have no way to special summon them from the grave. This deck was supposed to be fast and take out our opponent real quick, but it's I don't know, it's not working that way. All right, so I, I think I don't know. I think DK might have gotten lucky with this deck, but whatever. Uh, he's got that set card. I'm going to destroy it. Set another one, dude. All right, dude. You should know by now that I'm gonna that I'm gonna wreck it. All right, so uh oh, he's got he he's got some kind of chain. He can chain it. So let's go ahead and activate you. See if it's an Econ. If it is an Econ, he's going to have to use it. And switch me to defense and I'll go to attack, dude. It doesn't matter. Alright, so what do you got? What do you got? What you got is destroyed, dude. Even that mirror wall wouldn't have saved you. Alright, let's go ahead and claim this victory. Yep, you are eliminated, dude. Unless you have a... No, you don't have a Karibo. If anything, he quit. If anything, he just quit when I destroyed his mirror wall. Even though mirror wall would not have saved him. Dude, this guy quit, dude. Why would you quit, dude? I mean, I'm pretty sure in the KC Cup you can also get skills for these characters. So, why are you quitting? There's no point in quit. Just see the duel to the end and get your rewards. You, you can be rewarded pretty greatly. Uh, I, I've gotten a loss with the character and still got a skill. So, fair enough. We got that connection error. I'm pretty sure I still won. Pretty sure I still won. If I got a loss, I'd be really mad. Yeah, there we go. Dual victory. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for today. I just want to do something real quick, real easy. I'm probably not going to be using Bujins tomorrow, dude. I'm probably not going to be using Bujins tomorrow. I do want to go up the Casey Cup. I might have to play off screen a bit, but I don't know for tomorrow. I don't I don't know if I should use my uh, wallet control deck because I spent money on that thing, dude. So I, I might as well use it. Um, that or Hazy Flames, because I kind of like my OTK Hazy Flames. I might have a lot of fun with Hazy Flames, but whatever. That's pretty much it for today. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel League shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.